Hello folks, thanks for uh, coming to my video here. This is on the 2005 Buick Century. I just wanted, I already did the job, but I wanted to point out a couple easier things. Some people, when you're replacing the pressure regulator valve, which is right there, you're gonna need a TX, uh, you know, 30 bit, of course. Of course, bit, 30 size. What I did, I didn't even have to take the bracket or nothing off. Only thing you really got to do is the bolt here. As you can see, you're going to have to loosen this guy up under here, 13 millimeter. I used a ratchetable wrench. Got underneath here, loosened it up all the way out, okay? So you'll be able to remove this. But the main nut below it, for the fuel line, right there, if you can see it, that's a 24 millimeter. Try to find yourself a wrench that's a uh, thin wall if you can help it. I had a real um, gas line type wrench for 24 millimeter, so it kind of worked, but it was a headache. Uh, again, when you do do all this, make sure you put rags underneath. Make sure the engine is cold. Uh, come over to the fuse box on this particular model. Pull out the 15 amp fuse for your uh, fuel pump. Turn on the ignition, start the engine, and let it die out. And after that, they're trying to rotate it a couple more times, try to get most of the pressure out of the system. Now, you are going to get fuel coming out of the fuel rail here when you do release that. So be prepared for, and I'm not going to say a lot, but it was enough pressure to, you know, make the parts all over here wet with gas. So definitely keep some rags on hand. And basically just remove this for a better clearance, your PCV valve. Move that out of the way, remove this out of the way, and pretty much you can get right to it once you do that bolt. And it's a bit of a trick trying to get the threads back out from the fuel line underneath, but, well, except for that, it's not a bad job to do. So, we replaced this one here. Yeah, the other one was leaking right up on the top here, so causing a gas smell. But since I was already in here, I did the other exhaust part too, right here. It goes to your charcoal canister in that, so I replaced that while I was at it. So, other than that, there it's not terrible and not bad of a job to do. So, as you can see, this is 3100 V6, not a bad little motor. I prefer the 3800 myself, but, anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. And one more I would like to note I put Dura Lube in this motor, and they do develop a tick in the 3100. But if you change your oil like I do and catch it in time, I felt the barrel lube actually helped keep the ticking from uh, coming about. So, if you start getting a tick in the motor, you know, it's something there, it's not going to kill it, but I would put some barrel lube in like I did, and it worked out fine. So, anyways, there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video of the 2005 Buick Century with the 3100 V6. This has been Cricket Productions. Thank you.